Hello everyone. So today's topic is voltage distribution of amplitude modulated wave. Okay. In this lecture, we'll derive a equation, right, where we can uh, have mathematical expressions for sidebands as well as for uh, amplitude modulated wave. Okay. Now, from our previous dis discussions in previous lectures, we have already seen that the AM modulated wave will follow the envelope of the message signal. Okay. So here you can see uh, this red one is your message signal or modulating signal. So your uh, AM wave will follow the same envelope, right? For positive going uh, modulating signal, your amplitude of modulated wave is increased, right? Means you can get this value EC plus EM, okay? And for negative going modulating signal, you can notice that uh, uh, the amplitude of modulated wave is also decreasing, right? So at here it follows this equation okay we already know that now from so far uh, we were discussing that the amplitude of modulating uh, signal is having effect on uh, the carrier right or the modulated wave okay but we must know that the frequency of modulating signal is equally important or having equal impact on this carrier wave okay that means you can see the repetition rate of am envelope is equal to frequency of modulating signal right if suppose my modulating signal is going to repeat twice in one second then it's i mean the repetition of am will be twice in same period of time okay this statement is very much of significance here right as it will make the understanding of mathematical analysis of am be easy okay or easier now we know that the mathematical expression for Carrier is EC sine of 2 pi FCT, right? And uh, mathematical expression for message signal is EM sine of 2 pi FMT. All right. Now, whenever I do mod M modulation, so this element or uh, this particular component is going to vary, okay? And by what amount it is going to vary is by this amount. All right. So your amplitude modulated wave equation will become equal to bracket EC this amplitude right and uh, this amplitude basically uh, gets added up with this whole thing okay so plus EM sine of 2 pi FMT right and what else this sine of 2 pi FCT okay so this becomes my AM wave where this is the amplitude of modulated wave right amplitude of modulated signal all right let's mark this equation number one now from our previous discussions we know that em equal to mec right and this is actually coming from this equation uh, the modulation index or modulation coefficient equation right that is em by ec just rearranging this equation we get this thing now what we'll do will substitute this thing in place of em here all right let us rewrite this equation v a m t will become equal to e c plus in place of em i'll substitute this thing m e c right sine of 2 pi f m t okay bracket close sine of 2 pi f c t all right let us rearrange this equation this becomes I am taking I EC common from this one, 1 plus M times sine of 2 pi FM T, right. And let us multiply this EC with this sine factor, sine 2 pi FCT, all right. Now, this thing, if you notice, is nothing but constant plus, plus what? The modulating signal, this is the modulating signal, all right. Okay. Likewise, this factor here is unmodulated carrier, unmodulated carrier, okay. Now, let us expand this function. So, this becomes V A M T equals, this will multiply with 1 and we get P C sine 2 pi F C T here plus M sine of 2 pi F M T multiply with M E C. Let us uh, write it M E C. Right. This E C and this M. Okay. 
multiply with sin of 2 pi f c t ok now this thing uh, here if you observe that is nothing but of form sin a multiply sin b ok so I can expand this thing using this formula alright I will consider this thing as a and this thing I will consider as b ok so this equation can be rewritten as b a m t right equals p c sin of 2 pi f c t alright plus this thing here is constant m e c will write it as it is right divide by 2 this 2 will go in denominator ok reciprocal and uh, this will become cos a minus b so we have already taken this a right so this will become cos of a is 2 pi or I will take 2 pi t common so this will become f c minus f m right multiply 2 pi t ok let us put, put this all thing in brackets ok then minus of this minus ok m e c by 2 cos of a plus b right so f c plus f m multiply 2 pi t all right if you notice this equation uh, we have this factor that is nothing but the carrier wave right and this is the lower side band ok f c minus f m and this we have is upper side band we can call it upper side frequency as well right one and the same thing where e c is the amplitude of the carrier wave right and these are the amplitudes of the side bands and both the side bands are having same amplitude ok and this equation is the equation of amplitude modulated wave for DSB FC system alright and this is an acronym for double side band right DSB is for double side band and FC is for full carrier system right as you can see we are transmitting two side bands right in this equation both the side bands are included ok in addition we have career also full, full career uh, we are transmitting ok or you can say the career is unaffected that is why this is known as double side band and full career system ok now let us try to understand the structure of this wave with the help of this spectrum this is the Fourier domain representation of this wave or you can say the voltage spectrum of AM, AM uh, this equation is for AM and which m that is dsbfc double side band full carrier system as you can see this is your uh, upper side band uh, upper side frequency and this side we have lower side frequency all right and in center we have fc right so in this system we are transmitting uh, double side bands along with full carrier okay now we know from this equation that uh, the amplitude of carrier is ec right that we are transmitting and amplitude of side bands is mec by 2 right you can see for LSF it is MEC by 2 and similar amplitude will be transmitting for this one ok from this equation and uh, from here we can draw two main conclusions so our first conclusion is that your career is 90 degrees out of phase with LSF and USF that you can conclude from this equation right your uh, career you can see is the sine wave right you can see and uh, for side bands you have both the functions cosine cosine right and we know the phase difference between two ok that is 90 degrees so from here you can conclude that side bands and carrier they are 90 degrees out of phase likewise uh, second conclusion is that LSF and USF they are 180 degrees out of phase with each other right and now uh, just look at their signs ok the signs in front of uh, these two equations uh, for lower side band it is plus and for upper side band is it, it is negative so from here we can conclude that these are 180 degrees apart all right and that is quite evident from this spectrum also right so in today's class we have derived for uh, derived mathematical equations for dsb fc system right and we'll uh, continue with more systems in upcoming classes till then thank you